by his Holy Spirit. If we have the Holy Spirit, if we have the Holy Spirit like Jesus, we move because the Holy Spirit lives within us. He's the greatest he that is in the world. Hallelujah. Oh God, we serve you. Hallelujah. See, when God brings the new restoration, those that want it, that's who it's going to follow. Mm. New anointing. Power and authority and boldness is coming our way. A lot of us going to miss it. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. See, they think this is a playing thing, but it's not. You know, don't take God light. Because we serve a mighty God. You need to find yourself as you find yourself. You can find Jesus. Oh, God. Hallelujah. But if you don't find yourself, Brother Brian, how can you find Jesus? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Hey. Hallelujah. How can you say you know him if when you never do what he say for you to do? Yeah. Yeah. That's come from you not knowing yourself and you not knowing Jesus. See, a lot of people don't know Jesus. See, it's a routine thing when you come to church. You may be sick. When you come to church, Church is still the same way. You come in the same way and go out the other way. Mm. God be the glory. Hallelujah. See, when you come to church, you come to expect something from the Lord. You come to receive something from the Lord. Hallelujah. It's all about Jesus. Cherish, it's all about Jesus. It's not about you. It's not about how you look and how we wear our hair. And how we wear our suits. It's about Jesus. It's about him. The one that who died on Calvary. The one that was whooped and beaten with many stripes. The one who came to earth and set an example for us. That we can go back. Oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. It's about Jesus, it ain't about me, it ain't about the pastor. It's about Jesus. Hallelujah. God is good. It's all about him now. And once did they ever get that, that it's all about him, nothing else matters but Jesus. Our life would be better than what it is today. But first, they got to get to know themselves so they can get to know Jesus. So how can you know Jesus and don't know yourself? Tell me. Hallelujah. God be the glory. Oh, I thank God today. Hallelujah. Just like Apostle was saying that don't care what you did in your life. God can clean it up. He can clean you up. That's mean if you're down, if you ain't dead, you can get back up. Oh, God, he go back. Hallelujah. So it's time for us to surrender ourselves to the Lord. Because Jesus is on his way back. That's when things is happening the way that it's happening. Hallelujah. Because a lot of people in church have not had it. So if they don't repent, restoration cannot come. So when they repent, restoration comes in and rescue them. Oh, God, be the glory. Mm. Then you can go and be a witness for the Lord. How can you be a witness to the Lord and that the lifestyle that you are living? We got to be who God has chosen and calling us to be. We got to be the light of the city. We got, when we go out, and we kingdom people, we represent. Hallelujah. God is good. Let us go to uh, 
Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter, and I'm just going to start at the sixth verse right there. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, before you, in the mighty name of Jesus, giving you the praise and all the glory. Just magnify your name right now. In the name of Jesus, self you decrease. Heavenly Father, your son will live in me, you increase. In the name of Jesus, Lord, speak to me. As I open my mouth, God, you utter me, not myself. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, you take charge right now. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you and we give you the praise right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us stand to our feet. In the reading of God's word. The Roman, seven chapter. And when you get it, say amen. amen. And the sixth verse. They have a Bible. Would somebody go baby and pass some Bibles out to them? In the name of Jesus, because everybody needs to read. Don't want to miss nothing. They won't be lead wrong. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible is our weapon. That's our word. Must not need that word. Hallelujah. That's why we need to study the word. And let God engrave it upon our heart. That we carry with us every day of our life. Oh, yes. Everyone have it. Deuteronomy the seventh chapter and the sixth verse. Listen, what the Lord here is saying just in this one verse. Hallelujah. It said, For there are and holy peoples unto the Lord their God. Lord their God have chosen thee to be a special people. Now listen here. Don't you know you're special today? Don't you know you're special in God's eyesight? When you're not special in people's eyesight? Don't you know you're special in His eyesight? Don't care what it looked like and what it seemed like, you are special. Hallelujah, don't care that mom and daddy turn me back on you. Sisters and brothers do it. But know that you are special. Don't care what kind of relationship that you in. But you may not be special to that man. God be the glory. And man, you may not be special to that woman. But I'm here to serve you notice today. You are special in God's house. You are special to him. God be the glory. Hallelujah. He said, peoples unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You may be seated. I know that. Some people look down on themselves and feel like they're not special, Mr. Frank. But they are. In Christ Jesus. They are. They got so self-esteem about themselves. Hallelujah. When you catch a person, let me show y'all something. When you are uh, a la a, 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 a ladies, we look down on ourselves and we would dress any kind of way just to get attention. Come on here. Dress any kind of way to uh, get attention from a man or anybody. Because that they feel worthy. Nobody loves them. And they're not special. But God said today you are special. Yeah. It hits our sight. Yeah. He deliver us. Yeah. He bring us out of places that we can't bring ourselves. Yes, he, does. he heals us. Yeah. He renew our mind. Yeah. He give us a new mindset. Yeah. So when you feel 
When you don't feel special about yourself, you don't have those things. You can't have them. He loves us. Now, when you don't love yourself, you don't have that. A man can say some harsh word to a woman, but tear them down. Yes, yes, they ain't got to hit them. It's the word. That's right. Just like God's word, it's a two-headed sword, cut going in and cut coming out. Yeah. But a person can say something to you and can chop you down. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes. Yeah. And it make you feel that you're not nothing, that you're not worthy. Hallelujah, but you are. We got to know that. We are somebody special, someone special. In Christ Jesus, we are special people. Yes, we are. Yes, Lord. And so what we got to do, start feeling special. That's it. Start caring for yourself. Start loving yourself. Yes. Hallelujah. Start holding your head up. Because Jesus never walked around with his head down. Hallelujah. Then men's get hurt. Hold your head up, men. Yes. Hold your head up. Yeah. You special. God don't have no respect of a person. Hold your head up. We all go through. We all have come short of God glory. Hallelujah. But we are special peoples here on this earth. Oh God, I thank you. And God is a forgiving God. He forgives you. Hallelujah. When you come in the knowledge of him and know him. And study the word. That's the reason that this book here is our guideline. This reason that we can't have no more excuses because ain't no excuses in the Bible. God ain't going to stand for that. Hallelujah, because he know that his son is soon to come. He know, and that's when the devil know his time is running out, that he not trying up the heat. That's when people's killing, taking one another out, don't know why. They doing it because the devil, your out of mind is the devil workshop. He speaks. That's reason. We have to know the voice of the Lord. It's many voices, but one voice you got to know. And that's Jesus. You got to know his voice. Because he imitates everything that God does. Now let me tell you right here, as the Holy Ghost is speaking. Just like Jesus got special people, so is the enemy got special people. Amen. Amen. My God. Yes, tell it like it is. Mm. Tell it. My God. Here on earth. That's right. Everything he's a copycat. Everything God does, he had, he come right behind. That's right. Our crowd is going before him, but God tears it down. That's the reason no weapon can't form against God's people. That's the right. reason when people say evil things against you, it's never make it to you. So God stops it. Oh God be the glory. Hallelujah. And when God do that, see, let me tell you, it's just like God gave Moses instruction to follow. Yes, he did. The same way that Jesus given us instruction. Yes. We have to be obedient to the Lord. That's right. Hallelujah. Yes. If he instructs you to do something, All right. he going to direct you. Yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. Hallelujah. Yes. He going to direct you. Yes, he is. You got to keep his commandment and know what his commandment is. A lot of people don't know his commandment. No, they don't know it. Yes, and then when you are chosen, you right. special. How many of you know that? If you in something and that you on a job, Evangel Ella Louise and 
your uh, your boss choose you, chose you from all the rest of them. You special. Hallelujah. Out of all those that sat out there, you got chosen to do whatever your boss have you to do. If she going to give you a raise, she chose you. That's mean that you special. God be the glory. How many of you today want to be special? If you know what? Sometimes we cop our attitude because a person don't choose us to do something. And we are cop our attitude. You know? But it ain't your time yet. And we must not have our attitude because we didn't get chosen. That's true now. Hallelujah. Now, and she chose her to do this job, and she knows that she can do this job. But she knows you can't. Your time is coming. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Just wait on it. Don't start getting jealous of her because she was chosen to do the work. Well, that same way it's about Jesus. That's all right. He chose us to do the will. Right. So ain't nobody got to get jealous of the will of God. Because it's enough work for everybody. Just wait your time. I know that's right. God be the glory. Because God has so much in store for you all. His people's here on earth. That's the reason they, uh, that's the reason that God got to have somebody here. The Father got to have somebody here on earth to intercede for his people. Right. Just like that Jesus in heaven interceded for us. Yeah. Somebody got to be here on earth yeah. to intercede for God's people and pray. Yeah. Here on earth. All right. And the people that are on earth that we face, we face things. Yeah. Hallelujah. Obstacles, circumstances, and all that stuff come in our way. But we got to know how to pray. We got to know how to go to the Father. We got to say a prayer that may God get up and eat. Hallelujah. God be the glory. And that's the reason that I told God that teach me how to pray. I want my prayers. You know what I'm saying? I want my prayer life to be more effective this year than it was last year. I want to pray when I go in to pray with my Father in heaven. I want God to move off the throne. A satini prayer. A prayer that when you're praying and that, when you're walking the floor and that you're talking to God. Because the face that you have in God ain't talking about a prayer now you lay me down to sleep. Ain't talking about that cow. Hallelujah. I'm talking about a prayer can touch heaven, can bombard heaven. I'm talking about a prayer can shake hell up. How God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. God is not looking for a cute prayer. He's looking for a person that gets so ugly in the face with him. Hallelujah. Hey, don't worry about the mess, Carol, and the makeup. God be the glory. Hallelujah. Because let me tell you something. When you get through praying to God, don't care how ugly that you get. But he bend your makeover in the process. Oh God. Hallelujah. See, we got to get ourselves together. God is bringing. He is bringing on this year, 2013 church. He is bringing you restoration. But before he can release it, you got to give up some things. Come on now. Right. You got to give up some things on to receive that what God has for you. Gotcha. Hallelujah. You got to ask God to break me again. Amen. Hey, God be the glory. How many of you know 
know that nurse of mine by Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Humpty Dumpty had a great big fall. How many of you know that? Yeah. There come the king horses and all the men. And put him back together again. When he broke, he broke into pieces. He splat. But they put every piece back together. And that's the way God would do us. He will break us. Yes, he will. Yes. Don't care how many pieces splatter, but he'll put you back together. Better than you was before. It always greater than it was before. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. See, we got to want God to do this within us life because God doesn't force itself on you if you got a a, a, a wall up a, a wall up mm -hmm. and that you don't and that you don't want nobody to come in. You think God gonna tear that wall down? Uh uh. He's not that kind of God. You got to want God. That's it. Got to want him. You got to want him to tear that wall down. We need a new mindset. We need a willing spirit to do the will of God. We need to get that old mindset. We need to ask God to take it away. Hallelujah. We don't need that mindset that we had last year, year before last. You got to see some progress somewhere. Yes, Lord. You got to see some progress somewhere. If, if you got the same mindset five years ago and had made no progress in 2013, check yourself. Something's going on wrong here. You ain't moving. You still in the same place. I would want to be in the same place that I was eight years ago, nine or ten, eleven years ago. I want something different within my life. I got to see myself. See, this is how we come to know ourselves. You making progress. Oh, you not grown. Oh God, my God, your mind won't be the same. Yes. Yes. I want to see some growth. I'm in the Lord now. I want to see some growth. I want to see some progress making here now. Lord. If I'm still in that same mode, God be the glory. See, a lot of people in that mode, Mr. Frank, need to be broken to pieces. Once that mode is broken, you can see some progress. Don't care how long you've been praying. God be the glory. If you pray right and petition that prayer right and know how to pray, God gonna answer. God don't expect for us to stay in relationships and that we've been cut down in a bruise. He don't look for that. God be the glory. He don't look for you to stay in that relationship. Don't you know you special? Amen. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. God be the glory. On last year, a 2012, my husband, Pastor Thedo Haywood. And see, I don't mind telling him because that is true. Things I have been telling him all the time. Hallelujah, but he let peoples got in his way. He let peoples begin to whisper in his ears. And it caused Minister Frank a great defect in our marriage. Yes, it did. It caused that in our marriage and but I had to keep on doing what I'm doing stand before the Lord yes yes my praying to God my God hallelujah praying to God yes. I couldn't see my husband turning against me yes. I couldn't see my husband speaking against me yes. 
Yeah. Oh God, be the good. I couldn't see none of that. Oh God. But God spoke to me one Sunday back here some years ago. And I was up in the pulpit and God said that your husband going to come against you. I said, I love him. I love my husband. I love it. And I say, Lord, how? I'm sure it all you know, and we know, you know how we do. I just can't see that. I just can't see that. What God is saying today, don't put somebody so close in your bosom that you can't see that what's coming. Don't be so caught up. Come on now. Caught up. Caught up. Yes. In a relationship or marriage that you can see. All right now. Ah, oh, say, yeah. That you can see that what's coming and what's been to break you down. What's been to put you in the hospital? What's been to put you under the operation of a knife to cut you? Oh God be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And when you get to gun you and sewing your back up, they got to put you in the recovery room. Yeah. Oh, See, I've been good. I've been good and been empty. See, let me tell you something. When you let God do the work and let God gut you and get you. Hallelujah. See, he can place things back in that minister heaven that man can't place. Hallelujah. He'll place the love that you always wanted. God be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But when he got me, my God. He placed knowledge. Wisdom, understanding, revelation. He placed all that back in me, and now he said, I'm sewing you up now, and that you fit to recover. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I was hurt, beyond hurt. Never thought that I could love him again. Mm. Hey! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I stood on this word. Yeah. On this word. And we got the long church. Come on now. Not to hold nothing against somebody. Glory. When somebody do something, we got the Lord to let it go. Amen. Oh! And be free to move Woo! in the hands of God. Amen. And see, God spoke to me, say, how can you hold something against him when he does not know? You can't do it. I can't hold nothing against Mother Martha. And she don't know what she did. Amen. That's reason when Jesus, they hung Jesus up on the cross. <laughs> he said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. So who is she? See, you have to go through something. Oh, yes, you do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. To be what God wants you to be. Oh, yes. In life. Yes. If I would have gave up oh, those God. years, God be the glory of those years oh. because the enemy had came in. Yes, the enemy. Hey. Had came in. Yeah. And see, let me tell you something. The devil would use the cruel cool thing to you. Yes, he will. Amen. Yes, he will. To make you. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. So he used my husband. Yes. To make me, to bring me where I'm at today. That's right. My God. That's it. Do you hear me? Yes. Hallelujah. My God. See, the witches was in him. Oh, yeah. That was working. They had put it on him. Oh, God. And that means that when he put it on him, it's working against me. Yeah. Amen. Uh, Amen. Uh, that's it. Right. 
It had got so bad that I was going to walk out and throw up my hands. God be the glory. And as I was walking out, the Holy Spirit spoke to me. God say, what about my peoples? What about my peoples? Right here at the altar where I had an encounter with God. I said, Lord, I done did everything that you asked me to do. I said, but I'm weak and I can't go any further. Yes, God. Hey. The lights was on just like it is now. And I was down on my knees and crying and crying out to God. Tell me, though, he don't see me. Yes, and now I was on my knees crying and praying to him and, and crying out and just telling him just like I'm telling y'all that I felt the hand Woo, hey. came up on my shoulder. He said, my child is well. He said, I got you and I'm going to take you the rest of the way. And he did. Right, yeah. Every step that I took with God, yes. I went through something. It's a test that I had to pass first uh, yeah, yeah. to get there where I can you go to another grave and you ain't passed the test. You got to take the test first. Got to. Before you go, you start from head start, uh -huh. preschool on. Every child got a test. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey. Amen. And let me tell you something. As you go to test, get a little hard. And it's getting a little hard. And it's getting a little hard. Yeah. But you can't flunk me. Right. Because if you flunk it right. and go back, oh my God. Oh. It's going to be harder, and that test ain't going to be like that test that you flunk. So what I did, I locked myself into God. I locked myself into God. And I prayed, I prayed, I prayed for my husband. Yes. I said, Lord, give me that husband back that I once had. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Me and my husband had stopped going anywhere together. We used to go to go out together. Then we passed it. Mm -hmm. Used to go places together. My husband didn't go nowhere with me or nothing like that. So in 2012, before 2013 came in, we had a secret talk. Hey! Hey! We had a secret talk. See, I already had talked to the Lord, so I had to go to him. Amen. And when I went to him, and I told him the things that he wasn't doing, praise the Lord. Amen. And when I told him that, see, that's the reason that you can't have no excuses in Christ. Hallelujah. Either in your marriage, Hallelujah. your relationship Hallelujah. with Christ Jesus, uh -huh. no excuses it's because it ain't going to hold. And so me and him talked that night and God restored back what the enemy had not destroyed. Now I got my marriage back. love him. Amen. The love that God wants me to have for him. Amen. And now we go places. Amen. Now he opened the door for me. Now he do this for me. <laughs> Tell me what God wants me to Amen. He just like being alone. Yeah. 
separate us. A house divided is weak and not stand. They know if they got if they know if they got me out the way. Woo! Then it wasn't gonna stand. That's it. But I stood on the word of God. Oh God be the glory. You want the word when you can't stand no more. Keep standing. Keep standing on the word. Yeah, got to. Oh God. Because one thing about God's word is not gonna keep it. It's not. It's and I thank God today for me and my husband. Amen. I thank God the things that I, I desire and I wanted to do. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hey. God said he'll give you your heart desire. Yeah. Yeah. And he gave it to me. Yeah. Oh God be the glory. Yeah. See that when you're in the Lord you cannot be a pretender. Come on now. You can't do that. You can't pretend like this here is that, and that there is that, and this is solid, and this is gold. But see, God has sustained me. See, I wasn't no pretender. I was just like how you mean me. When he operated on me. God be the glory. Right? And that's me today. Don't care what it look like, you're special. Amen. See, once I was special in his life until the witches came in. Uh, and I felt all alone. Woo! I felt all alone. I wanted to desire my husband. Yes. I felt that I was alone, but God let me knew that's the reason that I turned myself to the Lord and I locked in with him and he sustained me. He kept me. Because I could keep myself, yes, but he kept me. Yes, yes. Because day and night I stayed before him. Yes, Lord. And Woo. he did it. Hey, thank you, Jesus. He did it. Church, he did hey. yes. One thing about it. When God bless you with something, don't let the enemy come in and rob you from it. Amen. He'll restore it back and give you everything. Yes, he will. Hallelujah, that it once was there. Mm -hmm. I knew that I loved my husband. I knew that. But the, the, the enemy came in. The devil, the devil, see, the devil gets mad when God is moving, when God is doing this, and when God is doing this. Oh, yeah. High God be the glory. But let me tell you something. I thank God for my husband. And I thank God that how he using him and how he not made him. He gave him a confessed tongue. Gave it to him and he confessed. Daughter, I should have listened to you a long time. I said, that's all right, honey. That's all right. That's what I've been waiting on. I'm going to rejoice in this. I'm going to rejoice in this because this is what I went through for. That's right. God be the glory. Yes. Hallelujah. See that before restoration came, I had to go through all of that. Oh, yes. I had to. Oh, my and God brought it up on me. Yes, Another lamb, another lamb. <laughs> Just as you think that you got it going on, it come. Amen. So never let your guards down in the spirit or in the natural. That's right. Tell it. That you got it all sold up. No, you don't, no, you don't have it all sold up. No, no. No. How did you get it? Because you don't know what direction you're coming from. I know that's right. That's the reason we have to stay focused. I do. Hallelujah. We have to stay focused on the things of God. Right. We have to get our mind open. See, God told me to get your mind. Your mind, Open your circumstance and put your mind on me where I'm gonna take you. All right now. Where I'm gonna lead you. That's all right. He said, I got him. That's you right. just keep doing what yeah. you're doing. Yeah. Keep praising me and, and, and you know what, Minister Frank? Let me tell you something. Whatever you're going through in your life, 
Worship God in it. Amen. Praise Him in it. That's the best praise that God can receive from His people. Yeah. 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 And that's gave me strength. Yeah. He gave me joy. He gave me peace. He gave me happiness in my circumstances. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh my God, I just, you just don't know. How good God is. Hey. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. We are special. And God take care of his special people. Yes, oh, yeah. yes, oh, yes, he he has chosen yes. people in this end time. Yes. Hallelujah. Here yes. on earth. Yes. Y'all going to see the hand of God move. Yes. In situation and in circumstances. Yes. You're going to see the hands of God move and people are going to wonder, how did Mr. Frank get blessed with a home and he don't have a job? See, you're going to have to praise him in. God be the glory. Hallelujah. How did this happen? How did that happen? Praise him. When I was set, I praised him and I worship him. I, that's all I can call upon. Jesus. I didn't call upon the doctor. I call upon Dr. Jesus. That's who healed me and delivered me today. When I had cancer, I didn't go to my husband or my mama or my family. I went to Jesus. He is my king. See, this is the second, third time that God did spiritual search your own man. See, we got to let God gut us. And the spirit that is not him and let him place in, in us what he wants us to have. And some stuff in us has hadn't been taken out. My God, tell it. That's where nothing else can come in the place of that. That's where love can come. That's where happiness and joy and peace cannot come. Amen. It's something there. Damn, my God. Let God gut you. Something holding your back. Yes, my God. It's what's on the inside of you. Free, free. Praise God. In that era, you want to be set free. Amen. Set free. Thank you. Let God put you on the operating table. Let him gut you. And get out everything that is not like he owned in there. All the hurts, the heartaches, the aches and pains. He'll take it away. He'll give you a new heart, new intestines. When he guts you, he cleans you. He peels fire the body. He takes everything out that is not like him. And he prays in you what's healed. Yeah. Let God do the work. Because you cannot gut yourself. Only God can gut you. Only God can do surgery on you. Only God can change the heart and penetrate the heart. Only He can. Make me over again. Now He has sustained me in the past. Cause to make that marriage. And I thank God. Never give up on something that God bless you with. Fight for it. Fight for it. Amen. Because Jesus in heaven in his evening. And we down here on earth in his evening. That's right. Hallelujah. No love is greater than God's love. That's right. No love is greater than his love. Lord. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. He shall. Hallelujah. 
Wait on him. Wait, on, wait. wait for him and in him and on him. Yeah. Learn to be patient in the Lord. Yeah. Don't let your patience outweigh you. It's all right now. Mm. Right, be patient. Yeah. Be patient. That's the way I our I was patient with the Lord to God. Fix that thing. Yeah. And God fixed it. Hey. Hallelujah. Yeah. Peace. Yeah. He'll give you peace past all understanding. Yeah. He'll give you that kind of peace that you can understand. Yeah. Oh, God is good. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. But we some body in God that's special. Don't look down on yourself. Hold your head. Hold your head up. Because you're special in God. You're special in His outside. And people, you might not look like you don't mount to nothing. But in God's outside, you mount to everything that He chose and called you to be. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So once God do the work on you, you do that. Once he operate and gut you and put everything in you that belongs to you from him, then it's going to manifest. Amen, amen. It's going to manifest on the outside. And then the people can see that. Oh, God, be the glory. Through all of that, he gives you power. He anoints you. But we got to know and we know that we are chosen peoples from God. And special peoples. Hallelujah. God is good. And I hope you all enjoyed the message today. That we are someone special. Amen. Turn around and look at somebody and say, I'm special. I'm, special. I'm very special. Amen. Because I'm special in God's outside. And that's what makes the difference in men's outside. Woo! The knowledge of God. I'm special. God told me I'm special. We his peoples on the earth. And somebody say that you ain't nothing, so oh, yes I am. So I am say, hey, I am somebody. Because I'm special. You say I've been chosen to be special by God. Hallelujah.